ChatGPT is an incredible tool if you know how to use it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I am using ChatGPT on three websites with auto blogging. That means it's going to be automatic blogs where I hardly touch anything. Here are the three websites, Bonds I Marry, The Thrifty Whale, and How Widely Spoken. And we have a secret website, a fourth website that I'm working on in the background, which we'll talk about later. But Bonsai Mary is the first one up. It's about bonsais and indoor plants. So let's go to Google Search Console. This is in the last six months. The traffic is good, but we have a problem. So I'm doing auto blogging, which means that this is just automatic. I'll show you how to post automatically but as you can see here there's 71 scheduled and published over here this is the most recent published one so an overview and these are the two let's just look at them how to select high quality bonsai trees to purchase as well as an overview of bonsai tree species both of these articles are 100 percent ai images as well as ai content and to me i mean that looks pretty darn good. And the tool that we're using, I'll have a link in the description, does this automatically. Tables, everything. It posts it, it schedules it out. Pretty insane. But what we have to do here with Bonsai Mary is control C, and we're going to push this up here. And basically what this does, it checks if it has been indexed on Google. And I can tell you they have not. So what we're going to do, let's jump back here. Of the last nine that have been posted. None of them have been automatically indexed by Google. Now contrast this with how widely spoken. Check this out. What language do they speak in Barbados? If I take it over here, boom, it's on Google. And if you look, let's look here. When was this? What language do they speak in Barbados? This was published literally today at 1.32. I think the time's a little off, but it was like within nine hours, within six hours. These are getting indexed. They're getting picked up. Let's try this one. Let's try this one right here. Um, Bahrain, it's on Google. So here's my question to you. We have Bonsai Mary, we have How Widely Spoken. One is getting indexed, one is not. Why? And if you dig a little deeper, the question becomes pretty obvious. These articles, right, the keyword research is not on point. In fact, some of these do cannibalization. In other words, on this website, I already talk about how to water bonsai, yet I just posted it again. Big problem. On top of that, maybe how widely spoken has some, you know, more authority, but I guarantee you there is no keyword cannibalization, and these are very to the point articles. So you need to make sure if you're going to do this tactic that you are doing your keyword research really, really well. On how widely spoken, these are the articles we just did. These two right here, keep an eye out for those because I did those a while back, China and Singapore, but all of these other ones were like in the last week. And look at the impressions. I've already gotten clicks on Algeria, Burma. Uh, the impressions are there. Look, Argentina, Albania. Look at the impressions. This means that Google is, is liking what we're doing here, and it only takes one click to post these blog articles. To show you how easy it was, this is one of my master lists for this website. I have a lot of other things we're going to talk about, but I've done all the things in yellow. They're scheduled out one a day. If I wanted to push, say, these articles right here, control click, right? Control C, rather. I come here, bulk article generator. I come here, I come here, and I more or less run it. There's a few specs on it, but that's how easy this is becoming. So I'm going to demonstrate on the Thrifty Whale. We have not given this website too much love. It's been iced since September. Look here, it's like a year ago, almost exactly. It's gotten some love by Google. One of the catfish articles did decently, right? But this here is not a really good website. So let's see if we can take this fresh domain. Someone was requesting of me, hey, look, you have two aged bought domains, which were the previous two I showed you. Can you use a fresh domain with no authority? Well, this is iced, all right? So we bought it with no you know, authority and we've iced it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about a new fish we haven't talked about on the website before. In the previous video, I was talking about snakeheads and I show you how I got these. So if you need to watch that video, go ahead. But now we're gonna actually push them live to the website. So we have queries up here related to the edibility of snakehead. What you can do, all right, after you get to this point is literally come in here and see which ones are duplicates. Right, I want to come here related to the invasive nature of snakeheads. I want to attack this one first. Are they invasive? That's a duplicate, right? How do they affect the ecosystem, right? Those are duplicates. Uh, how are they? Why are they bad? Mm, we can keep that one. Invasive, invasive. Why were they introduced? We can keep that one. So the point here is um, we have to make sure we are not doing duplicate. It's not even duplicate content. It's cannibalizing because if Google doesn't know to serve, say, this one here, all right, I'm going to have it in yellow, or this one here. If I have two articles on the same thing, Google's going to get confused and be like, uh, how about we just don't rank any of them? 
So I quickly went through and I deleted the ones that I think, you know, were cannibalized. And, and then I pushed it to ChatGPT. I said, hey, look, can you capitalize every single letter right to the first letter and just put them in a big old list? I don't want them categorized. So let's take this. Let's see how many we have here. So these should all be good to go, but we need to do something else. Let's do, uh, yeah, we can just delete this. Let's push it here. How many are there? There's 61. These are question answers, question answer, right? These are different than what we're going to continue to do, but these are great. But I want you to keep an eye out. This is so important if you're going to use this tactic. Why are snakeheads legal, illegal in Florida? All right, show me where all the states are or location-based because you can you can build these out, right? Do you see any? I think I saw Maryland. I'm going to control F Maryland. How did snakeheads get to Maryland, right? All right, so now we have to ask ourselves the question. How are we going to write these? And then how are we going to make it so that we can actually rank with these articles. Now we know we're going to write these articles. These are question answer articles. We're going to write them, but these ones I pulled out because they're location based and we're going to do something special with them afterwards. But first we're going to control C. We're going to come to the bulk article generation tool. And keep in mind, if you want to use this tool, use the code. I think it's Jesse 25. You get 25% off. It helps a lot. Um, it is an affiliate link, of course, but nonetheless, bulk article generation, generate NLP. The main keywords Check this out, this matters. You can dictate the main keywords, the title, all of it, if you wanna get really, really down into the semantics of SEO. For the purposes of this video and this website, I'm not spending a whole lot of time on it. But we're gonna go down, I'm gonna show you how I like to configure this. So the tone of voice, you know, usually I like professional, point of view, I like I, me, my, target country, I like United States, article size. Mm, I could go medium, we could go small with these, question answers. Details to include, I'm not going into that today, that's a really cool feature. Uh, placement, these are images. After the H1 only, I just want one image because otherwise my, the images are kind of like the most expensive part of this tool. Uh, nonetheless, we're going to do, uh, actually, we could do something cool here. Uh, we could do, hmm, we could do, let's uh, just do photo. Uh, we have a conclusion. I don't want a conclusion. Tables, H3s, lists, frequently asked questions. Cool. Connect to the web. Yes. Source links. Yes. You could also do real-time news, but this one just grabs SERPs and uses it. Now, publish right here. As you can see, we can do some cool things. We're going to schedule these out. We're going to start today in the frequency. Hmm. We could do one a day. We could just start on one a day, but there's a problem. We don't have Snakehead here yet. That's the only ones we have. So what you can do is come back to your website and we can get into the back of it right here and we can go to posts. We can go to categories and we can add Snakeheads. Not hard to do. So if you don't know how to do this, not bad. The parent category, uh, I kind of want to do fishing, but not really because some of it's not going to be pertaining to fishing. Uh, and there we go. So let's go back here. We're going to refresh right down here. It's refreshing. And there we go. Fishing plus snakeheads. And of course, I spelled it wrong. Goodness gracious. Let's edit it. Let's come here. This would be good to test the tool, see what it does. Uh, snakeheads right there. All right. Right there. Okay. I got to save it. Update. Wait for it to save. And then we're going to go back. It'll be a good uh, bug feature to see what this thing does. All right, come back, refresh. Look at that, it updated, cool. Schedule, so we're gonna to start today, one a day, no tags. URL should be like, you have to make sure you're doing this one right. URL should be like main keyword. So if your main keywords were a little you know, funny, uh, if you were trying to get a little cute with it, I would go with the title, but the same for this one, so it doesn't really matter. But that's really it right there, pretty much. We're gonna to have to wait for the NLP to come down which is super cool. Let's go to the top. Let's go to the top. This is the same, this is the same tool that I use on the other websites. We're using this tool because it's the quickest. It has the best UI user interface. Uh, once these come right here, let's see here. How big do snakeheads get? How big do they get? Snakehead fish size, fish growth, average size of a snakehead. I'm sure they're using ChatGPT to draw in NLPs, but it's just so nice that they do it automatically for us. Now, once we go here, I think there's one more left. We did 56 articles. We're gonna hit this button right here. Boom, 56 documents will be generated, posted to this website right here. Continue, boom. And just like that, they're running, right? They're scheduled out. Like, that's it. That's it, you're done. You're done. Now, you can go much further and do real SEO on this to help it rank more, which we're gonna do in a second. I'm gonna show you how to do a blanket template in a way, in a way, a pretty quick and easy one. 
But right here, this tool, how hard was that? Not hard at all. So like I said, a link in the description, and now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go a little bit further. Now, these were the ones we put aside. Do you remember these ones? How did snakeheads get to Maryland? Where are they in Florida? Where are snakeheads in PA? And so on and so forth. So what are the commonalities here? People wanna know, are they in the state? Where are they? And because we're a fishing website, we're gonna say snakehead in state, fishing tips, gear, and more. And we can really press into this. And here is the list that we're going to do. We're gonna do every single state, not hard at all. We're gonna push it here. And look, just like that, we should have 50 articles, right? We know that they're not in Hawaii and things like this, but we're gonna go with it anyways. I wanna see what's gonna happen. How is the article generator going to write? Now, do you remember there was a special, you know, portion of the tool that can help you dictate parts of the article? Um, we're not gonna do that in this video, on the next one we are. So if you wanna follow along in the series, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.